Hey, hi everybody. Hi everybody. <laughs> so Patty and I are back um, to talk about Reiki again and another kind of way that Reiki fits into our lives. Um, we have been chatting this past week about how much bringing Reiki and a meditation into our daily lives has changed our lives. And um, so we thought that would be a cool topic to talk about today. Yeah. 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 So um, I, I personally, so I've been into meditation for a long time. I mean, I remember, um, gosh, well, I remember it's like I can picture myself in different places. So it's like I can picture myself laying in bed back when we lived in Tokyo and listening to a specific meditation that I really loved. So that, takes us 10 years ago. <laughs> and then I don't know prior to that, but I know when we moved here to LA, I really got into um, UCLA put out a weekly mindfulness meditation. And so I really got into that. And um, I have kind of studied different forms of meditation really for a really long time. Um, and sometimes I love guided meditations. Sometimes I love just really being quiet and focusing on my breath and being in more of a mindfulness meditation. Um, so it's something that has kind of been a part of my life in different ways, but in all honesty, I feel like it was something that I employed when I was so stressed, I couldn't go to bed. You know, like mm -hmm. those nights where your, your head is just going and it's going and it's going and you're just like, oh my gosh, like I feel like it's just mm -hmm. gonna explode. There's so much going on inside my head. And um, for me, that's when I would turn to meditation, basically when I was trying to fall asleep. And so meditation would put me to sleep every night. And um, it's still something that will put me asleep like that. But when I brought Reiki, like when Reiki came into my life, it really kind of replaced that in a more holistic way. Because I would, um, I mean, I think as you all know, like I started with Reiki when I was not feeling well. And so it started as a self-care practice. And so I would fall asleep every night doing, trying to tune into the energy in my body and feel the energy in my body along with the meditation that would then um, kind of put me to sleep also with a feeling of healing my mind, body, spirit at the same time. Um, mm -hmm. and it, but it was still, for the most part, part of falling asleep, <laughs> in all honesty. And then when I found the animal Reiki, uh, it, it, it introduced a little bit of a different type of meditation, and it brought it more into my waking hours, I guess, because mm -hmm. it was with the intent of connecting to one of my pets or another animal in the world. And so mm -hmm. I um, it's like I needed to be a little more present than just drifting off to sleep. And, um, and so somewhere along the line, Reiki, um, well, Reiki and just a, a meditation specifically focused on connecting with animals somewhere in the world could be mine or could be others, um, that need help, you know, at any given time. It's like when I, when I do that and bring that into a daily practice for me, it, it really kind of changed everything for me. It really mm -hmm. brought about a sense of calm and a sense of connectedness that I didn't really have before. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, it, I don't know. Yeah. Is, is your experience been similar or when did you yeah. start going into meditation? You know, when it, it's kind of like you, I don't even know if I gave it a name, but you know, as, as young as I can remember, you know, when things are on your mind, for me, nature is very mm -hmm. healing. And I would always, you know, go for a walk and find a quiet place. Um, I grew up on Long Island. So I'd go to the beach whenever I could and just walk and sit on the beach. And it was like all healing takes place oh, when you're yeah. sitting, you yeah. know, at the ocean. And um, I just found I was, I was talking to you about this weekend that I came off of, which was a yoga dance teacher mm -hmm. training and it incorporated a lot of meditation and qigong mm -hmm. through the weekend mm -hmm. and I just feel so different because in everyday daily life you know sometimes your practice gets away from you and you don't have the time necessarily to sit even if it's 
five minutes. You know, you just kind of keep putting it off until the day goes and you don't mm -hmm. have time mm -hmm. to meditate. And I realized there, um, listening to stories from the other women, students, it was all women in our class, um, with the way the world is now, with just the way our lives are structured, you know, we're always mm -hmm. running from event to event, how important mm -hmm. it is on every level. And even if you don't know the practice of Reiki, anyone can meditate. Yeah. You know, anyone can take, you know, five minutes and just concentrate on their breath. Yeah. in the simplest simplest way yeah. and I could tell you you know lately it's it's like you just when you get so busy you're not even breathing deeply mm -hmm. <laughs> you're shallow right. breathing right you're right. everything's up here everything's wired and I just feel so great that that's why I, you know I talked to you about maybe bringing that you know yeah. a sample of it to everyone through our chat yeah <laughs> just yeah experience it to get a little yeah, yeah. Right. So you yeah. might not know what Reiki is, or you might know what Reiki is. You might think you're a bad meditator because you can't, can't clear your mind. And <laughs> meditation, yeah, right? I it felt is. that for thought, years. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't stop thinking. You know, I can't meditate. I can't do this. When meditation actually can be, you know, consciously thinking of a thought, a yeah. mantra, yeah. or just paying attention to your breath or paying attention to each step that you take, you know, mm -hmm. walking meditation. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, every time, you know, those, those thoughts jump in and you realize, oh my gosh, I took off on that train. Every time that you bring yourself back to whatever it is that you're concentrating on, if it is your breath, whatever, it's like every time is a chance to practice building that muscle and getting stronger. Right, and yeah. that was such a good way for me to look at it. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't like I was messing up because my mind was off over here. It was like, Oh, cool. Awesome. Chance yeah. to come back, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And the, rip, yeah. the ripple effect is amazing. You know, mm -hmm. just by you meditating the next time something stresses you out, you know, mm -hmm. the next time you're in a rush, just the way you react to, to a situation or, handle a situation mm -hmm. um you're coming from such a place of calmness i agree and, and I agree. contentment so you know your whole day is better for it <laughs> true it's really true yeah. yeah yeah so i mean you mentioned um the idea which so patty and i have been um brewing up this idea that we're kind of excited about um and so when in our next session which would be two mondays from now which is November 11 11 oh yeah yeah Perfect. November 11th yes I love yeah that number. <laughs> yeah yeah so for everybody who's a numerology fan that's, yeah. a, that's a big that's deal a so number. on 11 11 we're really excited um to do a uh a guided you know meditation that you to as an example to show you kind of like what we do in our lives mm -hmm. uh, to be able to bring it in on a daily basis so just a short little thing that that helps just kind of pull things together for the day mm -hmm. um and we would love if you guys would join us so i'll um i'll have information with this video for how you could join us for it and uh we'll record it just like we do this so it's something that you can take and listen to anytime you want um honestly to kind of redo um redo it if it if it's something that resonates with you right um but yeah, because yeah, it'll kind of be late in New York. I think it, it'll be 7.30 California time, 10.30 New York time. So if that's late for us New Yorkers, yeah, <laughs> um, you know, on a work night, that's okay. It'll be recorded. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And we, um, something that Patty and I are constantly feeling like we personally need, and I have a feeling it could be the same for a lot of you, is... Um, more connection to community and so just the idea of us all being able to kind of share in a meditation experience together whether it happens to virtually be at the same time or it's just kind of virtually how our energies mix and mingle throughout time after it with the recording i think um there's just so much healing that can happen in the world from connection and meditation mm -hmm. and just um, Very true. quieting. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 
So we're excited about that. So yeah. there'll be information for it uh, with the video here. And then also um, we'll try to make sure we get that sent out in all the different places that we can so that if you want to join us, you can. Um, we'd love to have you with us. For yeah, sure. any questions or ideas too, you know, yes. all the contact information will be there. Please share. We'd love yes. to hear from you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so signing off for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> call it call it a night for our mm, Monday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and so we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks then. All right. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.